Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, this is the last review in the attic. This is the last time I'm filming in my attic. We're moving to Nashville full time. I'm going to have a little thank you at the end of this video if you want to watch that later, unedited, just me saying thank you to you and what our plan is, like what my plan is going into the new studio, new space, me and Hubbin in Middle Tennessee, whatever. That's going to be at the end of this review, but um, I just want to say the attic looks different because it's the last time I'm going to be filming in it. And so I made sure that the very last thing that I wanted to take out with you is my little princess baby beans digital art that Wiz Bang Meow created me and sent me. So of course that has to be, it was the first thing I hung up in here and it's going to be the last thing I take down. If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I'm watching the 1992 <laughs> Sister Act. Now this millennial <coughs> movie request comes from 1000th Ghost in the comments, Chris in real life. And I'm actually really, really excited about this because a lot of friends in real life and even Blake have asked, has asked me many times if I've ever seen Sister Act. And you know what, if I'm watching on this channel, the answer is no, I have not seen it. So what do I know about Sister Act? I can't look up a movie poster because I still don't have internet in this house. I think it's about, is it about nuns or about a church or something? And I know Whoopi Goldberg is in it. Now I haven't seen her on the channel since Ghost. So that'll be fun to see her in another film because she was really funny in Ghost. Um, but like, I don't know what kind of shenanigans you get into. Although last year when me and Hubbin went to LA for our anniversary trip, we did like a sightseeing tour because tourists. We drove by the church that they filmed some of Sister Act in and they also used the gymnasium of the church to film. I think they used the gym for something. Y'all, I just woke up from a nap. Don't ask me. I can't remember. Anyways, saw that. So that's kind of neat. Um, that's all I know. I don't have anything else to add. I'm really excited about it. People say, people all the time tell me I'm going to love it. And Chris was like, after a month of blood, gores, and screams, why not something a little funny? So I'm very excited for a comedy. I'm very excited to see Whoopi Goldberg again. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Member Request, which is the 1992 Sister Act. Also, just to let you know, I usually have my laptop sitting on boxes in here for me to watch it at a good angle, but the act is empty, so I'm watching it in my lap. Who can name all the apostles? Not me. And Ringo. Haha, <laughs> the Beatles. All the apostles alphabetically. John? No. What's the alphabet? Luke? Mark? No. I don't! I don't know! <laughs> Elvis was the best, actually. You continue on this disruptive track, it will lead straight to the devil. Sounds like a good time to me. All right, girl, get it. Whoopi in that big old hair, I love it. I love her in that dress. Okay, girl, I love this for you. Now, can't Whoopi really sing for real? Like she, I don't know if this is her singing the song, but I think she can sing. Oh, I love casinos. I want to go. Oh my guy. My guy. I don't know any of these other names yet. But my guy. Oh, Kathy and Jimmy! Uh, did I say her name right? She's Mary from Hocus Pocus. Okay, Whoopi in this dress. I know I've already said it, but I'm gonna say it again. I love this dress on Whoopi. We really committed to this whole singing scene right here. I will follow him. This is too much, y'all. We get a whole ass music video in this movie. I love it. These old people in this casino cannot appreciate what's being given to them. Hey, you don't give a shit! <laughs> exactly! I think it's great. The one with the mustache, the one you're married to. With a mustache? Full of it. You didn't tell her, did you? I knew. I knew you weren't. Oh. I want us to be an honest, decent couple. Then why didn't you tell your real thing? I told Father Antonelli I was in love. Is that really how confessionals work? Like, do you really go in there and, like, tell your preacher everything, you know what I mean? You said that if I got divorced, I'd burn in hell for all eternity. Oh, uh, well, sounds like you're gonna stay married. Just get out, okay? Just go. Yes, girl, you deserve better. Know your worth. Uh, I'll eat the thing you make. That's not what this is about. That's not what it's about. It's about you leaving. It's about you not leaving your wife for her. Whoa, does Whoopi Goldberg have a tit-tat? 
I'm quitting for a lot of reasons. It's something I have to do. You're quitting your whole job because of this guy? Pack any more of my makeup in that bag. Don't think I don't know. Oh? You ain't got nothing that I haven't seen before, right? He wanted to, but he's got a big meeting upstairs. Hey. Probably with his wife. Just take it easy. How do these three beautiful women get mixed up with mobsters? Why should I open this? I don't give a damn what's in that box. What's in the box? Oh, this. Look at this. Fur coat me? Fur coat me? Mink Dolores. Oh, oh that's bougie. Honestly, Mr. LaRocca feels he can win me back. I mean, yeah, I would go right back. Put it on, put it it's on. It's beautiful. Listen, you get gifts and you get some good <laughs> with no commitment. It's his wife's coat. Oh, no. Because you deserve to have somebody who's proud of you and wants to be with you. You shouldn't have to settle to be the side hoe when you should be the main chick. <laughs> Three years, Mr. LaRocca. What are them statues in the back door? Crew. Bring it a bags. Well, I've been very loyal, Mr. LaRocca. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I never thought this was a mob movie. So far, they've come up with bupkis. <laughs> Why is that such a funny word? I'm going to Chicago. I thought you were going to L.A. I know if I went to New York, I could get... I thought it was Chicago! She's about to see something she ain't supposed to see. Yeah, that's definitely something she wasn't supposed to see. Dolores. Is there a problem? Nope. This coat is great. And I definitely won't be going to New York, Chicago, L.A. anytime soon. Can't just say you're sorry. About tonight and the things you said. Sh- You! You be home? Yeah. Soon. Yeah. Be home soon, but you're married! Hey, Vince. Is she okay? No. Bring her back now for talk. What kind of talk? Dolores, I'm gonna need you to take off them high heels, girl. If you try to run from some mobsters, I'm gonna need you to be a little quicker. Oh, got some quarters out of that, though. Wow, the talent that had to take. Bro, you better go fast. They gonna look up that ladder sooner or later. And nobody around her is freaking out because a woman just crawled out of a grate. Put your guns away, you out in public. That's like mobster rule number one. Don't get pinched. I mean, he just Listen, shot him in the chair. Bro, there's one thing we learned from Chinatown. The police are in on it, too. He was a limo driver, so maybe he made a couple of wrong turns in his life. <laughs> but I'm tired. Except, you know, sometimes you pass on the freeway, you see a couple of people dead. What kind of freeway are you going down? Well, you realize he's a major underworld figure, don't you? I don't think she knew that. I mean, the last two people that saw him in action kind of disappeared. What is it? What do you mean? Well, we found a piece here and a piece there. <gasps> no! No! Dolores. You can call me anything you want as long as you keep me alive. We would... <laughs> It'll only take a couple of months to get a court date. Months? It's a couple of months? Only a couple? She gotta hide from this guy for a couple of months? I'm gonna put you in the last place on or the vents would ever look for you. Where's that? A church? He was just talking about how, like, important church is to him. That's why he didn't leave his wife. Oh yeah, you're gonna fit right in with those nuns. You think Vince is gonna look for you in the convent? What, what, what in the what? The nunnery. Damn convent with these people. These people don't even have sex! Dolores, this well, girl, you contract. just broke up with your boyfriend, so I don't think you were going to be having any anytime soon anyway. What am I going to do here? Pray. Pray? Pray. Let's see it. We Eat, pray, love. Convent. Isn't that another movie or a book? I don't know. We can save this young woman's life and imprison- She looks really familiar. I feel like she's another- Goes out to her. Of course. My concern would be she might subject the convent. Is that Professor McGonagall? Is that who that is? As you know, your small convent is in danger of closing. Oh, well, don't hold that over her head. That's rude. So the feeling's mutual. Absolutely not. I couldn't possibly. Why? You have taken a vow of hospitality to all in need. I lied. <laughs> Damn! That was a promise to God. Dolores, these are holy people. They like everybody. I'm... Behave yourself. Nice to hear you. Dolores, she can hear you. She's in the same room. Now, how are we going to fit all that glorious hair underneath one of them little nun hats? Yes. I happen to be a singer. Yes. So I'll point her to the choir. You know, I want to say thank you up front. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, look, you're married to the big JC. I mean, you're his old lady. You know? <laughs> it's much better than being hooked up with some kind of two-timing. Girl, I don't think you should smoke in there. Understand that you are not in a sorority or a speakeasy. Well, she don't just be rolling around with your little nun outfits. Kind of threw me in here with you nuns. Her nuns. I'll stay to your face and I will commune my little black ass in that room. <laughs> I don't think that's how this is gonna work, girl. I think it's a very good idea. Thank you. 
Oh, maybe it is gonna work like that. What, two months in your room? Perhaps you'd like to freshen up. You'll certainly want to change. Does she get one of them cute little nun outfits? To your left, you will find suitable attire. Nuns don't wear bras? Wow. No, oh, no, no. I can't do this. I'm sorry. No, you look great. People wish to kill you. Anyone who's met you, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but look at me. I'm a nun. I'm a, I'm a penguin. But as long as you're fitting in with the other penguins, you'll be fine. That's like, like Clarence Williams the third from the Mod Squad. I don't know that reference. And the vow of chastity. I am out of here with that. <laughs> I, is, are those real rules that nuns have to follow? I don't know. Oh, and what is the vow of poverty? I would like you to- Sister Mary Clarence. <laughs> she is eager to embrace a more disciplined life. I wouldn't say she's eager. Ooh, that silence is loud, huh? I'd like to offer a great big hi there and hello to Sister Mary Clarence. <laughs> hi there and hello! I thought that maybe our new sister could offer today's blessing. Uh, do nuns have a special way they pray? I don't know. For these thy gifts which we're about to receive. Amen. Through the valley of the shadow of no food. <laughs> and to the republic for which it stands and... We're getting a couple of things confused here. Ready to eat. Amen. Amen. You know, as I was brought up in a non-denominational church, Jesus understands our heart when the words fail us. See, so why doesn't she have all her hair covered? Why doesn't she have the same hat that Whoopi's got? And all the other nuns got, you know what I mean? Are there different levels of nun? Terrible, tastes like sh sisters. Tastes like what? Only when our lips are silent may our prayers truly be answered. Oh my god. The Lord understands our heart. How can you eat this stuff? It's terrible. Mary Clara. Girl, silence. To remind you of those who must endure without food. Oh, well this... I don't want you to... I don't okay, want you to well... Take away her words, take away her food. I'd be pissed. I didn't know that nuns did yard work. Oh, she's the one that's gonna rat on you if you eat it. <gasps> Y'all got hidden pockets in your little nun dresses? That's cool. I'll be like to grill me there for six also, hours. Also, sometimes a tomato just be tasting great. Uh, if you don't stop harassing me, I'm gonna what? Why didn't they get uh, Belushi to come be a part of this movie for the mob people? You're so damn cut. And you're not? Quarter of a mil, dead or alive. Oh, this has gotten even more serious. Okay. My what? Your cell. They for real call them cells? Not a dorm or something? It's like a nightmare. Where's the rest of the furniture? It's kind of like where Brooks had his last day. It's nine o'clock. Pleasant dreams. Whoa, wait. Oh, yeah, that's bedtime for me. It's time to think about my life and its direction. She's shady. Career was almost non-existent and your married lover wants you dead. Now, girl, you weren't supposed to be talking about all that. God has brought you here. Take the hint. A nicer way of putting that is, the Lord works in mysterious ways. So is this part of that whole vow of poverty is like, you get your bare necessities, the simple bare necessity, and I'm like, that's it? You still got that tomato from earlier? Mary Clarence. That, that would scare me to death. Up and at him. We don't want to be late. What time is it? Well, it's almost five, sister sleepyhead. No, not for me. Come on, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. What sun, girl? It's dark in there. Celebration. Where is everyone? Uh, probably avoiding the construction zone that is your sanctuary. Our choir mistress, Sister Mary Lazarus, has in- Choir mistress? Yes, Grandma, bring it home, girl. <laughs> yup. Yes, get in there, girl. You were close. You were close. That okay? So the preacher was asking where's y'all congregations at, and um, I think I know why they aren't there. Please find our adored angel. We miss her so dead or alive. Maybe we don't put dead or alive on a missing persons poster. <laughs> You're not even gonna tell us. I wouldn't even tell the Pope. That might have been too big of a hint. <gasps> Wait a second. Nuns get to do arts and crafts? Don't you worry. You'll get the hang of it. I'll help you. Why is Kathy giving me big John Candy vibes in this movie so far? Of the Sisters of the Moonlight 
in mm. Reno. Tell me more. Our habits do cut you at the neck just a bit. Oh, so everybody agrees that it's uncomfortable. A progressive convent? Sounds awful. Cold water, bare feet, those were nuns. It was hell on earth. I loved it. Okay, well, you're into what you're into, I guess. And you don't know how hard it is to get a call until you've worked in Reno. Yeah, let me tell you, the service out there stinks. And Reno is probably bursting with sin. It was. Oh, it? it was. And my hands were all up in that sand. Could live in next door called Buckwheat Bertha, who would... I want to hear more about Buckwheat Bertha. Oh, yeah. Cool kids with a boombox. In your eyes, rescue me. What? What? It was just polished, wasn't it? I don't understand the problem. Girl, you better be careful. I don't think nuns are supposed to be gyrating like that. Little baby! I need to talk to Eddie Salva. Girl, you're gonna get in trouble. Them, but there's a leak in the department and some of them end up dead. What? Yeah, not a good thing to hear right now. Don't call me. It's not safe. I'll be in touch. A whole leak and witnesses are being killed and now she's on the list of trying to get found. This one is so very interesting to me, this girl. Never seemed to get up on time, so I um, set it for five. That's so nice. Have a seat. Okay, unlikely friendship. That makes me happy. You have a little trouble getting up at five o'clock too, Mary? Is everybody in a convent named Mary? Doing or catching on to things a second faster or better than me. Same. I always knew that that was my calling to lead a life of service, but... This kind of service? That I, I want to give. That's only me and nobody else. You talking about sex, girl? Do you know how sometimes it's as if you have to be yourself or you'll just burst? Yeah. Yep, I do. And she gets it more than you know, Mary. Hi, Mary Robert. Robert. Mary Robert. I'm gonna just start giving them numbers, Mary. One, two, and three. That's where the fun's happening. Okay. Dolores has a little shadow. I'm so very excited for this. She has two shadows. So like, do nuns not get to leave the church or whatever? Like, do they really not to get... You know how Amish people, or at least on the shows, Amish people get that, like, that week in the rest of the world and then can decide whether they want to come back to their community or not? Like, do nuns get to do that? Do nuns get to have a normal time or go out? Nice mustache. Bucks got anything on it from Sound of Music? <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. I'm a dance sister. Why? You don't have any rhythm. Ooh! The last thing I want to do if I'm outside of my nunnery when I shouldn't be is cause a scene in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> they want to have fun. That you might be ministering to the winos the way that you did in your. <gasps> oh, a shoebox. Oh, one song. Oh, I can't wait to see what song she picks. Give me, give me, give me tonight. Give me to it, girl. Do you feel the Holy Spirit, baby? Get into it. Mashed potato, but give me some gravy tonight. Come on, baby. I want some gravy. Any time. We'll be back. Yes, we will. Good night. I don't think you're going to come back, girl. I would be the one giggling loudly. We're not surprised. Oh, y'all going straight to hell. No longer safe for them. And they are certainly not safe for you. No, that is true. You are wanted. You really do care about them, don't you? Yes, I do. She is kind of in charge of them. Oh no, come on, don't send me away, really. Are you really gonna give up on on this calling? The Lord has brought Dolores to you. There's gotta be something around here that I can do that's not gonna chip my nails. <laughs> <laughs> but I shall restrict your activities to a single task. What? I can't wait. Singing. You will join the choir. I'm so excited! Uh... You will sleep and you will sing. That will be your task. Sleep and sing. No eating, though. Sure is. Come on in, sing a spell. I just love Kathy so much. Y'all ain't ready for what's about to happen. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel it in my bones. It's about to be so good. Uh... There's a key in there somewhere. Mary Clarence, are you with us? She doesn't want to be. Were you a choir mistress? Sort of freelance. A, a mistress of sorts, you could say. You think I took fouls yesterday? I know what you're up to. This is a little intense coming from you. Mary Lazarus, you're terrific, but we could really- Mary Lazarus, stop it. There's a word for this. What? Mutiny. Dramatic. Go ahead, sister. Make them sing. Yeah, sister. Listen, if you got beef, old lady, take it up with Reverend Mother, or whatever you call her. Where are the bases? Why are y'all separated? Where are you? 
Okay, oh, we're at least in Sopranos. Well, get together. Why are no white people together? Ah! Hey, Chloe, we, well, it's there. That's a powerful instrument Thank you have you. there. <laughs> One way to put it. You move in your mouth, but nothing's coming out. She's shy. She's also really pretty. Give me oh. an A, please. Oh, that's a hearing aid. I didn't know what that was when she was tapping it earlier. Why is it down here? Listening, straining to hear you, okay? <laughs> I wish I was that good of a teacher. I can't explain anything to anybody very well. Uh, yeah, get that diaphragm into a girl! This is rejoicing. Rejoicing? You are singing. Holy Spirit, put some spirit in it! Sing a chord for two seconds. The next thing you have to do. A victory is a victory. Do. And there is victory in Jesus. Uh, wet behind the ears. Oh, please, let us try. <laughs> what a. This is. Okay. Welcome this Sunday morning, O oh ye few, but faithful. Amen. Big smiles, everyone. Or my band director used to go, eyes on me. Hey, beautiful. Okay, I had no idea that the little nuns' dresses had like hoodie pockets. I had no idea. That's so convenient. Sinners from outside. What were you thinking? Spicing it up, following her calling. Popcorn, curtain calls. No. This Butts in the seats, heart to the Lord. You have corrupted the entire choir. Okay. Innovative, inspiring, you're to be commended. Listen, I'm guessing that you answer to the priest and then the Lord. So, like, if he loves it, you gotta keep the choir as is. Fight to keep your little convent alive. Don't give her credit for this. She wants us to go out into the neighborhood and meet the people. Yeah. Bring the church to them. There's a lot we could do for them besides pray, sister. Amen. And you will face that danger head on. Covered in the armor of God. <laughs> the yelling and the hearing aid. Touch of love, just a touch of love. You know, I wasn't going to say that, but I thought it was weird how the church had chain link fence and barbed wire around it, but that ain't none of my business, you know? That's not very pearly gates of you. Well, I didn't realize the gnome was going to be good with their hands. I take it back. I don't even know how you keep up with that. I can barely keep up with a singular jump rope, let alone double dutch. Could never. Uh, now, I don't know if the nuns need to be doing this, though. I don't think... Yeah, nah, they gonna pull something. They ain't moved like that in a hot second. What is that even called? What is that dance move? Get into it, y'all. I ain't even mad at it. Yes! Yes! Woo! Yes! Get into it! See, again, she is like the female John Candy. And I mean that in a respectful way, because they're both just funny and lovable and likable people. And they always play such fun characters, in my opinion, from what I've seen thus far. Look at all the people you got in your sanctuary! Once alienated from its surrounding neighbors. Girl, you are like a great value version of Dolly Parton. As a matter of fact, the- Man, you guys Maybe she yes. should not be on television. Maybe she should not be on TV. I'm gonna kill myself. Well, if you kill her, at least take her to Vinny so you get that reward money. I'm just saying, like, why waste a dead body? <laughs> Not in a cannibalistic way. <laughs> I tried to make a singular joke, and it somehow progressively just continuously got worse. Remember bullets flying through the air at you? Ring a bell? And she tried to hide out. It didn't work, so then she got in trouble. You gonna come to the show? Yeah. Are y'all gonna flirt with each other or just be nice? I can't tell. Now Mary Magdalene was a young lady and she was no stranger to sin. No, she was not. No stranger to practically anybody. <laughs> it's funny because she was a biblical hoe. One man said, hey now, hold on, wait a minute. Is that a, is that a quote directly from the Bible? Hail girls. Hail Mary, what's up? <laughs> 
I love her. I love piano playing lady. She's fun. Get away from my god. My god. Nothing you could do could make me on. What is that accent? To my god. My god. Get in it, girl. Oh, and I'm gonna. You best. Yes, get some growl in there, girl. She turned the wrong way. That's okay. She's gonna get the hang of it. There's not a man today oh. who could take. Is that what we're calling a deep shoulder action? Oh! Why are you so grumpy? She literally, you're grumpy because you were wrong. It's better than springtime. It's better than sex. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. It's just that it's so momentous. I'm still adjusting to the shot. What? The Pope himself has heard of our choir here at St. Catherine. That's a big thing. Sunday night. No, no. For the point. How is it? I'm not Catholic, and I don't know much about Catholic. Oh, Catholicism. Glorious. How does a pope get chosen? Is it like the avatar? I don't know. And traditional like the old way? The one that didn't make it to the pope? Your more secular entertainments would be totally out of place. Well, he didn't hear about your traditional style, so. And that's why he's coming. I mean, because we're doing something new and different. That's what I'm saying. To a repertoire. Raise your hands. Girl, put your hand down. Whose side are you on? To a more worldly program. Raise your hands. All right, so we reached a vote. Now you gotta go with it, girl. Congratulations, Mary Clarence. It ain't personal, girl. Don't make it personal. You have a phone call. No. I thought they weren't supposed to be doing that. The judge agreed to move up the trial. We'll be in court in a couple days. Yay! Really? Wait, no Pope concert. You're leaving? Yeah. That makes two of us. But where are you going? I have submitted my resignation to Monsignor O'Hara. Because you got butt hurt that somebody ran the choir good? Too long, I suppose. I've become somewhat obsolete. You're being so dramatic. You're throwing a pity party. You're still special. You could keep this going. Could I? Yeah, if you just want to work a little bit harder. What y'all got in that refrigerator? Ready? Why do I think it was gonna be alcohol? I should have known it's gonna be ice cream, but I think it was alcohol. I hope Reverend Mother doesn't catch us. Yeah, let's. I love that Kathy has a napkin tucked into her. What's it called? A habit? Bringing prayers. I thank God for bringing you to us. I mean, any one of us could be transferred out of here at any given time. Hey yo, don't don't be foreshadowing like that, girl. That's what Diana Ross said. Do I know who Diana Ross is? I'll just leave it here, Henry. Uh, I'll make sure he signs it when he comes in. Mm, something tells me you're about to read them things. Now that ain't your business. We found them. We found the leak in the office. And now you know where the leak is, and here we go. All before the Pope comes into town. This could not have happened at a worse time. Here's our leak, boys. Plug him up! Okay, that seemed a little, that acting was a little questionable. But like, don't you need a little bit more proof than you just being like, lock him up? What if I forget the words? You're gonna go straight to hell. That's not reassuring. She's upstairs with the choir. Okay, but it's not like uh, somebody could just sneak into the church, right? Come Listen, on. you're gonna be singing for St. Peter if you don't get your ass out. Well, you know what? It works. Oh. oh, but this isn't gonna discourage the other women, isn't it? Hey, I think they'll understand. Mm -hmm. No, you don't understand. No, they won't. They don't know her story. This means a great deal to them, and they have worked very hard for this, and they deserve it. Yes, they do. We've been looking for you. We're hurt. Okay, okay, let's go. Surprise. Oh, oh, scared me. Came out of nowhere. I guess I was right. You can't just sneak into a church, but you can hang out outside of it. Of course, you got to kidnap or hold hostage the most shy nun. This is the biggest day of that nun's life. Not even singing for the Pope. Being held hostage at gunpoint? That's probably the tightest she's ever been held by a man. She's a lounge singer. Her real name is Dolores Van Cartier. So we're just telling all her business now. What she did with the choir, she made us sing beautifully. Because she was a lounge singer. Yes, we can't sing without her. She's our inspiration. Look at Jesus in the background like, calm down, calm down. We can't leave it up to the feds. Oh, like, oh no, none. And they're taking her to the Moonlight Lounge. Oh, yeah. because... She because literally Dolores said Reno. Manuel. And they said Moonlight Lounge. I'm like, how, how the hell does she know the these guys? The thing that happened literally 30 seconds ago that I already forgot. Blame this young pilot for abandoning us in our hour of need. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the Lord loves to take people on good old guilt trips. What did you think you were doing running to the cops, Dolores? Hiding out? That's exactly what she thought it was. I gave you everything. My affection, my time, a big time career. Your wife's coat. 
You shouldn't have done that to me, babe. You'll be judged. She's staying really calm in this situation, and I would never. It's like uh, she's scared of nothing. Because she knows where her soul is going if this goes south. Waste her. A decision that quickly? You said you loved her and you could just kill her? Reno! <laughs> and Gamora! <laughs> Reno and Gamora. <laughs> oh, he's already trying to find a new side hoe. Shit. Growing up and become a real nun when she was there. Things like this happen. Yeah, it could have started as a fake and led to the real thing. Because I know this woman. In the biblical sense. <laughs> we don't go one, two, and shoot on three. No. One, two, three, shoot. It's like rock, paper, scissors, but like rock, paper, gun. Rock, paper, none. <laughs> you didn't shoot. Neither did you. <laughs> we got it all worked out. <sighs> Strip. Strip? Oh, if she gets out of her nun dress, then she's no longer a nun. In their eyes. I want you to forgive Willie and Joey. Because they know not what they do. Y'all buckle up, because y'all getting a guilt trip. Tutu eplubium. Amen. Those are definitely real words. See, this is what I picture going back to my comment about the Amish people experience in the, the real world for like a week. This is what I picture that being like, sorry if you're Amish and you're offended, but like, why are you watching this video? The Lord's seeing what you're doing. Has anyone seen a nun, a Carmelite nun? Did she say what I think she said about Dolores? How do you know? She got a direct line. Well, she took blended into a whole new level. I mean, but it sounds like you won a little something, girl. Are we setting up decoys? Are people dressing like them? Hey, babe. Yes, sweetheart. <laughs> oh. Freeze. Y'all just having a meeting in the corner? Joey, do it. Well, why can't you do it? That we didn't shoot her. <laughs> Is now really the time to teach your boss a lesson? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Lord scared the shit out of me. And you still got a divorce from the Pope? It's a lot happening for y'all right now. Things got kind of out of hand. Oh, just kind of out of hand? I was going to say a little bit, kind of. I got two oh. words for you, Vince. Mary Clarence. God bless. Bless you. Oh, I was close. But bless you is way funnier than what I said. I thought you were leaving. We can't both of us leave. But can both of y'all stay? At least until after your concert with the Pope. Oh, she's not wearing her little nun hat. But I love her hair. Aw, oh, it's a packed house. The Pope is somewhere in there. Oh, found him. See, like, why did Pope get a fun little hat? We're gonna spice it up now? We're gonna hit him with that beat? Pope ain't gonna know where to hit him. Yes, girl! Give it to me, Whoopi. He may go. Oh! Choreography. Okay, so this is like joyful noise meets um pitch perfect. <laughs> Oh, the Pope clapping, he getting into it. I don't know how Catholics feel about dancing, though. I know there's some denominations that don't like dancing. Oh, and the priest has on a cool little cape. A standing ovation from the Pope? Is that like automatic entrance into heaven? Well, don't forget to say we... Holy cow! <laughs> you know you make me want to shout! Oh my god, okay, let's talk about it. This was so cute. I don't know if y'all could tell. I was having a great time. Because I have seen Joyful Noise. Cause, because of Dolly Parton. But Queen Latifah. Qu who? Queen Latifah is also in it. And then Pitch Perfect. I saw that when it came out. And I saw it like 27 times. It's like that. You know. Joyful Noise because gospel. Pitch Perfect because a group of people who didn't know how to sing came together. You know what I mean? Unlikely friendships. I love it. This was great. This was very cute. I understand now. I think it definitely has to the test of time. It's cute. It's funny. Bless you. Bless you. That's like when Southern people say, bless your heart. You know you done messed up if a Southern woman tells you that. Bless your heart. That's a very nice way of us saying, well, you stupid. That happened because you're dumb. That's what that means. In case you didn't know, that's Southern lady slingo. Slingo? I'm so done with this. I think... Sorry, it's really hot in here. I'm so excited to be in a real room. It's so hot. It's been a good attic. It's been a good studio. It's been a good house. This isn't about the house. This is about the movie. Chris, this was a great 
movie and definitely a complete 180 turn from Hello Beans, which I definitely enjoyed. I didn't realize how much I was in the need for like a lighthearted, just a fun little. And plus, you're always going to hit straight in my heart when it's any kind of good music or musical or any kind of remixes. I'm a hoe for some remixes. That's also why I love Joyful Noise so much. Well, Dolly Parton, but also because they took like hip hop songs and made it, you know what I mean? Sister Act, five out of five stars. Definitely stands the test of time. And I'll be honest with you, I might go home and watch it tonight with Hubbin because Hubbin loves this movie. And he's been begging me to watch it with him, but I'm like, Blake, if we are going to watch a movie together, then it has to be for the channel. And he just has been a little shy recently, so I'll probably go home and watch it with him for the first, again, with him tonight. Because he has been wanting to watch this movie with me and I won't do it because I wanted to watch it with you on the channel. And now we're here. Thank you so much, Chris, for supporting me, the channel, and Beans like you do. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because um, coming up Monday, I decided, this wasn't a poll or anything, at the beginning of Hello Beans, Loretta Lynn passed away and so I wanted to watch Coal Miner's Daughter. As of right now, I don't know anything else that's coming up. If editing Ashley knows from any of the other Millennial Movie members or any other polls, she'll put it right here. Like, subscribe, stick around so you can find out too. And uh, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Monday for the very first video filmed in the new studio in a complete room and not an attic, one with AC. Praise the Lord. I'm ready to get out this haunted house. All right. I'll see you right back here on Monday for Coal Miner's Daughter starring, is it starring or is it just about her life? I don't know. In memory of Loretta Lynn. Bye.